Here you can see the two boys in the room. Kev and Ike. They are the sons of Frida and Borg. Still reading? Well, I'm dog tired. I'm going to hit the hay, Kev says. Okay, no prab. Ike responds. Now, I'm dog tired. Dog tired means very tired, exhausted. I'm extremely tired, I'm exhausted. I'm going to hit the hay. Hit the hay means go to bed. I'm going to go to bed. Okay, no prob. Prob is often used instead of problem. No problem. No prob. Let's have a look at this again. Still reading? Well, I'm dog tired. I'm going to hit the hay. Okay, no prob. A few seconds later. Those stupid books of yours. Look, I just stumbled on them. Why don't you ever replace them on the shelf? Come on, calf. You know what your problem is. You're just all thumbs, that's all. You know I'm not easily angered, but now that you're jumping down my throat, it's really irritating. Now, some vocabulary. I just stumbled on them. Stumble means hit your foot on something when you're walking or running so that you fall or almost fall. So in this case, I just stumbled means I just fell to the ground because of something which was on the floor, the books. Why don't you ever replace them on the shelf? Replace in this meaning means put something where it was before. So why don't you ever put the books on the shelf where they were before? You're just all thumbs, that's all. All thumbs means extremely awkward or clumsy. So Ike is telling his brother that he's very awkward and clumsy. You know I'm not easily angered. To anger someone means to make someone angry. So you know I'm not easily angered means you know it's not easy to make me angry. But now that you're jumping down my throat, it's really irritating. Jump down someone's throat means respond angrily to someone. So here, Ike, instead of apologizing to his brother for leaving these books on the floor, he just responds angrily to him. So he's jumping down his throat. And now let's have a look at this again. Those stupid books of yours. Look, I just stumbled on them. Why don't you ever replace them on the shelf? Come on, calf. You know what your problem is. You're just all thumbs, that's all. You know I'm not easily angered, but now that you're jumping down my throat, it's really irritating. Why don't you follow my example? I never leave my stuff unattended on the floor. Your untidiness drives me up a wall. You should change your habits and, oh, come on, stop sermonizing, Mr. Perfect. Now, some vocabulary. Why don't you follow my example? To follow someone's example means do as someone does. So why don't you do as I do? I never leave my stuff unattended on the floor. Unattended means not cared for or watched. So I never leave anything on the floor which is not cared for, which I don't watch. Your untidiness drives me up a wall. To drive someone up a wall or to drive someone up the wall means to make someone irritated, angry or crazy. So your untidiness makes me crazy, makes me irritated, makes me angry, drives me up a wall. Oh, come on, stop sermonizing, Mr. Perfect. Sermonize. To sermonize means give someone unwanted advice about good moral behavior. So stop talking to me like that. Stop telling me what to do. Mr. Perfect. Mr. is used to refer to a man who has a particular quality, like here, Mr. Perfect. We use this to talk to someone 
who considers himself a perfect person. Mr. Perfect. Now let's have a look at this again. Why don't you follow my example? I never leave my stuff unattended on the floor. Your untidiness drives me up a wall. Should change your habits and, oh, come on, stop sermonizing, Mr. Perfect. Ouch! I stumbled again. So this happens to Cav again. Oh, what's the matter, Cav? Isn't this your ball? That's the pot calling the kettle black. So this time, Calf stumbles on his ball. This expression, the pot calling the kettle black, is used to describe a situation in which one person criticizes another for a fault the first person also has. So, Calf criticized Ike for untidiness, but it turns out that he's untidy too, because he did leave the ball on the floor, and now he stumbled on it. So here it is again. Ouch! I stumbled again. Oh, what's the matter, Calf? Isn't this your ball? That's the pot calling the kettle black. Fine, fine, it's the first time. See? I already put it on the bookcase where it belongs. Okay, fine. I'm tired too. Good night. Well, I already put it on the bookcase where it belongs. Belong, this verb is used to say that someone or something should be in a particular place or situation. So, I already put it, the ball, where it should be. And now let's have a look at this one more time. Fine, fine. It's the first time. See? I already put it on the bookcase where it belongs. Okay, fine. I'm tired too. Good night. What about the books? Calf asks. Aren't you going to put them where they belong too? I do it first thing in the morning. I promise. First thing means before anything else, right away, very early. So this will be the first thing I will do tomorrow when I wake up. I'll do it first thing in the morning. And here it is again. What about the books? Aren't you going to put them where they belong too? I'll do it first thing in the morning. I promise. Okay, that's it for this video. If you like it, a thumbs up would be great. Also, make sure to subscribe for future videos. If you want to leave a comment or ask a question, you're welcome to do so. Thanks for watching.